Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we were recovering from a series of unfortunate events that uh, was bestowed upon us by the gods of the game and, well, it didn't go so well when that happened, but as you can see now, it's not too bad. Danger level is slowly going up, but overall it's quite low. We've got 14 grand in the kitty and uh, receiving 1,800 plus change and we've got decent intake and everything else. We've also now got power and water, which is also something which I am uh, <laughs> glad to admit to. So in this episode, what I want to do is I want to get this um, common room here. Oh, it's not a common room at the moment. It's not for anything. But I want to get this done, which is going to be a common room. And that shouldn't take too long. And then we're going to go ahead and plan off uh, this area here, which is our death row facility. And if we have time, we'll build another a set of cells here to then move people over from this area so this is going to be normal risk normal risk and too low risk and that's probably what we'll end up doing so let's just crack straight on into it so we're going to put some doors in here we are going to run some power straight into that one we shouldn't really require a lot there obviously we didn't need to go over rooms and go to common room and then we'll place that here now i'm going to have some televisions and Probably I'll have two large tellies in the on the bottom and then some pool tables at the top. What I also want to do as well, which uh, people have mentioned, is that, uh, well, we need to place some uh, more phone booths, which I have now done. And because of that, we probably need some more phone taps. Now, we've currently only got the one, and I don't know if placing another one will blow up the grid or not. And well, it might. It might. Um, you know what I'll do? What's this grid like? That grid's actually okay. So I will actually dismantle that bit there and I'm gonna segregate it even further so we power there we go that's now off is, is there a tunnel here it's still detecting tunnels around here which is a strange one oh what was around there last time hmm we'll have to sort that out anyway so that's now turned off got utilities run the electrical cable in there so we're gonna have two wire taps just because we've got so many phones um so yeah even though this canteen is smaller uh, sorry, a bit larger than this one. We've got more phones in this one, which doesn't seem to make much sense to me. So maybe put some more phones down there as well. Which is a lot of money on phones, but they always use them, so it's worth it. So this one. Connect over here. And this allows you to, if you're listening in, you can find out people's traits, you can learn about what contraband's getting brought in, that sort of thing. You can only listen to one phone any one time. So you can see the red or orangey bits cycling. Um, and if that phone is in use, they'll start listening. I don't think there's any specific wiretap um, thing that they do, so they're not listening for... Like, if there's a certain prisoner, um, they're not listening into a particular prisoner. They're not targeting prisoners. It's just indiscriminately listening to everybody. Um, just like the government. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> that was too, it's too easy, isn't it? Um, so, we've got uh, people turning up shortly. So, uh, informants and... I don't want to activate them now. Actually, we'll activate one. Good rule of thumb is activate them before people turn up because then you know exactly what they are as soon as... Because the game doesn't really take into account what they know from... There, look at that. So they know for whatever reason there's a uh, cigarette and a lighter on here and the people here. It's a bit of a strange one, that. Anyway. Um, we are smelling a lot of tunnels over there. That is getting a bit suspicious. Anyway. So we have got more people in here. Yeah, it's... um. Generally, good rule of thumb to activate them before, but that's just at eat time, and I don't really want to be having a nap with them when they should be eating, because they're going to now go hungry. Although we do have two eats a day, so it's not too bad. So it's work free time. We're going to activate a couple of these CIs. I mean, more CI, more better is generally the rule as well. But uh, we got 100% coverage when we activate all these. Obviously, there's one with zero, Jason Chen, who's in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many, how many do we have? Um, six total, yeah, six total. So we can see what people have, but nah, that's okay. Right, anyway, so there's that sort. Let's do the common room with the money that we've just got. Although, I want to go to programs and down to the uh, taser. Stop that, because we just don't need to run it. 
and that's fine. General education has been ran. Uh, no, not general education. Another, another one there. That can't be real. I mean, it it could actually. Um. I mean, search cell block. I mean, it's all one block. That's the thing. Because it's outside cell block and whatever, it's it's a bit different than that. Hmm. We'll have a search and uh, see what we get there. Um, in terms of patrols, we've got a couple of patrols over there. That's real. That is real. Yeah. We'll have to sort that out. And in terms of patrols, we should really have another patrol around here. Um, in fact, it should be an armed patrol in the centre, really. There we go. We just have a patrol all the way right around, I think. There we go, that should do us. We'll put two people on that one. Just because there's high risk prisons there. So, yeah, there's. Almost certainly something there. So we'll see. Right, so the common room in here. We want TVs, large TV. But it doesn't it's not gonna tell me where we need to place the where we need to place the um the seating. However, I have a feeling it's that. Distance of three off. I think we should be fine with that one. Because I think it's a row of eight, is it? I don't know. We'll just see what happens. So, we've still got these um, to search. And for whatever reason, they're not being searched. Staff morale is 100%. Lords are happy with the job. Why isn't it getting searched? Always detecting something around there and around here. They are real. That is a real tunnel. Right, I'll do that. Turn it on and off. So, search toilet. Search. 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 Search and search. There we go. It must just be a bit of a weird glitch with the uh, searching the toilet. Um, if this tunnel, the one around here, was dug before we removed that toilet, we should have already found it. Oh no, the warden wants a chat. One of our more charismatic inmates has become something of a religious evangelist. Another seem to be coming around to their way of thinking. Not a necessary problem, but our prisoners may soon have more spiritual needs. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, let's see, that's not what it's just, it's not working. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just give a full shake down there and see what happens there. Um, oh, that's exactly what I wanted. That's fine. I'm sure it's that. Bloody hell, that's a big tunnel. Yeah, there's one coming from that way and there's one coming that way. This is the issue with outside cells, they just don't, they just don't seem to function. I've never really had this problem before. Um, oh, walking past, the guard's not been able to see into it. That's an issue, and that's been an issue for quite some time. Um, but never this problem with them not being able to search it. And it's not to do with deployment, because the guards, they can go wherever they want and do whatever they want. So I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. We'll have to have a think about that one. Anyway, so over here, chairs. I mean, look at the size of that. It's massive. I don't even know if the ones on the side there are right, because it doesn't seem to line up. It seems to me it should be shifted one further over to the left or the right, but that's what we're going to do. We're not. I was going to have another one on this side, but uh, that's not going to happen. Instead, it's going to be these. There's the tunnel. We found it. We found it. So we have a tunnel. And Whoa! Stephen Underwood. Darn it, he was a really good CI. So, while he's been talking and snitching on all of his mates, 
informing on them. Guess what he's been doing? Digging. It looks like he went one way and decided to go another way. I wonder why that is. Strange. <laughs> so that's a tunnel. Quite a long tunnel. I mean, I'll give him, I'll give him a due. It's good work. <laughs> I can just imagine the guards uh, drinking some, some uh, nice, delicious generic beverage while in the tower there, and then it starts going. When rocking like on Jurassic Park, <laughs> as he's just tunneling right underneath the tower through the foundations. <laughs> it could happen. Uh, we still haven't searched all this. I don't think it's possible to do it. You know when we had the problem where it just got to a certain point and wouldn't search anymore? I think we're on that point. It's not searching them. That's a huge problem. Dangerous. Too dangerous? How is it too dangerous? Apparently it is too dangerous to search the cells. I... I disagree. I don't think it is too dangerous. Hmm. Don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna keep the search I'm gonna keep the shakedown going though. Cause who just went in there? Oh, it's a prisoner. There's definitely a tunnel there. Hundred percent a tunnel. Look at that. Maybe they're still digging. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn it off, she's not working. That's just broken. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do about that because I can't. Ma I just I tried to manually search. It didn't work. Search. Hmm. Okay. Um. Back over to CIs. I'm I'm just getting in the habit now of just always activating CIs. Every every intake. And I think that's all right. I think that works out. Um. I'm just looking at ones that... See if there's ones that I can spot. No, it doesn't seem to be anyone there. There's ones in danger. There's a pickaxe, so we know that they're tunnelling then. <sighs> Which makes sense for that bit there. Which we sort of knew about anyway. Okay. But it's not searching. This is a huge problem. It's a glitch, and it's a huge problem. There's nobody in there, look. Search, why, why, why are they not searching it? I can hear a bit of... ...fighting now. That says to do repair jail door. Is someone fighting in there? It could be. It could be someone stuck in there that's been fighting all this time. Was it that? Was Christopher Corley just been fight? Has he been fighting there but stuck because of the laundry basket? No, because you can walk through stuff. So I have no idea. And now they're searching that. You know what? It must have been that. What on earth? <laughs> that is probably the longest tunnel I have ever ever seen in the game. I mean, that's good work, isn't it? Down, along, and then we're just going to head all the way down. That is... I'm almost disappointed that I found that. Actually, not really. But you know what? If they escaped there, if it said popped up and said, one escape, and I looked down, and then the tunnel went... and uncovered all the way to there... It'll be like, well, it's a fair cop, in it. <laughs> You've worked for it. That's the Andy Dufresne level of escaping, that one. Right, so over here, let's go for... Um, 
Uh, I don't know what to put in around here. Arcade cabinets don't um, seem to work. Where is our other um, thing? Oh, it's over here. We've just got chairs and tellies. Um, and a radio on. I don't know if the radio works either. I think the radio does work because you get often... Events pop up and say there's there's radio messages that are like riling the prisoners up. So I'll do that and that. And then what I'll do is have radios there and there. Um fairly decent seating. And I'll do something like that. And I'm just hoping that the that works. So what I'm going to do is also place some CCTV in the in this area. Um, we'll place it in there. Don't have any CCTV in the other areas, but I do want one in here. It's been a long overdue one, and that should be okay. And we'll connect these two up as well. So there we are. Um, sleep again. Gonna do another shakedown. Now that there was no writing, we should be able to search that. I can only assume that that was the issue. I mean, it could be in any other amounts. It could be all sorts that's gone on that I haven't, been, that I wasn't aware of. What was happening? Not anywhere. At least we got this area done, and then we're gonna plan this off in a second. Again, that would have. Uh, been a lot quicker if I didn't have that weird issue. They're taking the time to do that. I'll, I'll sort that out later on. I'm also going to get rid of the planning there because I know it's going to be annoying for some. Okay, so this is where we're going to have our our death row inmates. So I want a area for them up the top. So I don't really know what size, but I'm going to go with large. So five by or six by six is totally sufficient. And yes, this is. Much bigger than we need it. So, don't worry. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I agree with you. It's too large. It's still going to make it too large, knowingly. Um, <laughs> but, don't really know what else to do with it. Or am I? Or am I going to go back on what I just said? Because we could always change that area to be something else like a workshop. There's no reason why we can't. Apart from the fact that we won't have power. But apart from that, uh, there's no reason why we can't just do that. One, two, three, four, five. We're not going to need any more than that. That should be totally sufficient. Uh, so we'll have an entrance that comes down into here. Um, we will have in an area around here, which will be... So there'll be a door there. A door there. This will be for, like, a holding cell. And then you've got your green mile, or whatever you want to call it. And then you've got... Um, Death row, you've got parole there. That's your parole. Um, I don't know where the doors for this will go, but it doesn't really, doesn't particularly matter. Um, there, maybe. I actually like the idea of this being a bit longer, um, so we can have a bit wider, rather, like a double. So even that. So double and double walkway. Do we need it? No. We'll have a single. That's fine. Could have an entrance there, but um, probably best if we have to go come through this one around here. Um, we'll do that. There we are. Then we'll have our parole there. Then we'll have the execution area in and around here. And then quite frankly, we could do that and have a very big yard. Sorry, very big um very big workshop. Or we could do that and have another two death row. That's the tentative plan, and because we're not building it, I'll leave that to you. What do you think? Two hang on, is that the right size? Six, 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 and six. It is the right size. Two, four, six, seven. Death row. Not needed. It's also a lot bigger. This one at the bottom. 
So ideally that would be the right size. Don't think that's the way to go there. I think five death row is more than sufficient. More than sufficient. But we could do something like that. And have a big area for uh, a workshop. So this will be where we have the power for it. Because obviously we are going to have to power it. This will be powering... Oh, yeah, that could probably power the workshop and the... And the um, the chair. It could probably do it. But we'll have to measure it. If not, we can always have a separate thing there. We'll see how it goes. That's a tentative plan. I think that's enough space. And having that as a workshop also makes perfect sense. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And we will, as always, go from there. Let's just connect these two up. One and then two. They are now connected up. So we should have line of sight. There we are. Common room is fancy tiles. So we'll go ahead and place that. Floor's in there. Did miss a bit of a floor out there, which is a shame. There we are. And that should be us about done. So, we probably have had some intake. While we'll be messing on. When in doubt, activate some CIs just before. Well, just now anyway. 14 grand with 6 grand daily cash flow. Obviously that cash flow does uh, fluctuate based on how much we produce in the workshop. Obviously our forestry is really doing quite well. We have produced 10 superior beds as well. We've got that We got that done. In terms of our grants, we've only got a couple of grants to do, which is all just increasing our capacity. In terms of capacity, we have 167 capacity, but some of that is protective custody and super max, which is uh, protective well, Protective custody and legendary, essentially, is what it's really, really is. Death Row will be in there shortly, next couple of episodes, one would hope. Um, also going to build this and then move these prisoners over. I think what we'll do is next episode, we'll build this. So we'll clone that, essentially, both sides. And then we'll move all of these prisoners over there. Then we'll turn on our... We'll turn on our high risk intake again fill these up and then we'll go for death row yeah, that's fine just wondered why the hell there's a snitch down there but they're doing parole so that's fine right i think we will leave it there productive and back on track i think as always we have enjoyed the video comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings